hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to create subtasks here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Creating subtasks here in Microsoft Planner can help break down larger tasks into manageable steps. While Planner doesn't have the uh, traditional subtask feature, you can create checklists within tasks to function as subtasks. All right. So once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the left side panel of your dashboard and click the My Tasks. Now we have a separate video on how to create sub uh, tasks here in Microsoft Planner, but essentially, if you haven't already. I want you to click on the title here and put in the new task. Now, normally, if you are the owner of this account or you are the super admin, you should be able to have an option on the more options here on the three dots to create a subtask. All right. But if you don't, that means you're just a supplementary user or you don't have the permission level as a super admin. All right. But don't worry because another workaround for that is click the open details. What will happen is would be we would be forwarded here now in this section this is going to be the main task all right or the task for you to be able to create a subtask you just have to click and add an item here on the checklist all right that's it and of course click on save that's one way now another option is i'm going to rename this say for example uh, main task Let's say, for example, it's going to be six. All right. I'm going to press X. Now, in the add a new task at the bottom, I'm going to create something like subtask of main task. All right. So, again, similarly to the same effect, since we don't have the uh, permission label, since we're not on super admin. All we have to do is go to the open details and type in, for example, subtask and put in an add an item, of course, as much as you can. Basically, um, put all the information here. You can put set the priority to important if you want or on the progress like it's going to be like in progress right now. And if you want to a bucket, just put it here. And if you want to repeat that, you should be able to check and select an option here all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one